All right. Hey there, and welcome to today's episode where we're going to talk about the secret to feeling better and what that means and how it's actually very paradoxical. And so um, for those of you that don't, that don't know me, my name is Matt Cotty, and I'm a licensed clinical social worker and the founder of Restored Minds and the creator of the AAA Response. And so when it comes to feeling better, at the end of the day, this is what almost every single person is pursuing in one regard or the next. In the context of OCD and anxiety, um, you know, a lot of people are actually trying not to feel the lower and, uh, you know, more painful emotions that they're experiencing and want to feel into higher states like, you know, peace and love, neutrality, joy, whatnot. Um, but, but also, you know, the people that are the overachievers, uh, you know, wanting to, you know, reach this, you know, great success at one thing or the next, um, you know, a lot of it, a lot of reasons they are motivated by is because they think by reaching that is going to feel a certain way. A lot of people want relationships because they think it'll make them feel a certain way or people want to get out of relationships because they think it'll make them feel a certain way. Um, you know, ultimately the pursuit of a feeling state is at the core of most of what we do, right? And we eat that piece of cheesecake because we think it will make us feel better temporarily, even though if we know it's not in our long-term uh, well-being, so to speak, which I'm totally guilty of. So this idea of feeling better, I want to talk about what that means and really how to actually go about it in a completely indirect and paradoxical way, actually learning how to feel whatever you are feeling better. So feeling better the best way to contextualize this is really that that maps of consciousness that Dr. David Hawkins um, made famous. Um, also, Fred Dotson wrote the Levels of Energy and created uh, you know a, a pretty similar but you know his own version. And um, this idea of this energetic scale starting at zero and then at the top being a thousand, and the energy state that you're in is really it's it's so zero to a thousand whatever energy state you're in is the amount of energy you have access to. And what happens is, is that there are certain things that we can do that put us in very high energy states, but then we wean off and then drop back down to lower states. And what the key to feeling better really is, is actually learning how to feel the very things that we're running away from. Because you see, it's by becoming conscious about our lower feelings are again feelings of shame, guilt, apathy, depression, fear, anger, desire, pride, right? These lower feelings that we oftentimes don't like to confront, don't like to acknowledge are there, don't want to really admit exist. It's by actually learning how to feel those feelings and by becoming conscious about about them and where they are and how they feel and actually confronting them that allows them to dissipate. And what I've begun to realize, or what I have realized, and um, you know, over the last several years of my life, is really what this work of feeling better is about is actually learning how to feel whatever you are feeling better. That's really the, the core secret. Because if you're able to confront the emotion and not do things to try to suppress it, repress it, or escape it, or even express it, right? Um, which are again, Hawkins talks about that. You know, those those options in a his book, Letting Go, and he talks about like the highest path, meaning let it go, meaning to actually confront it, to feel it and let it pass with its own time, just as it is. By learning to do that with your lower emotions, you release them. And what you begin to realize is actually this sense of stillness, this sense of peace, right, is already there within you. It's already there. And what's happened is, is we've stacked these lower emotions on top of it. And because we didn't know what to do with them more often than not. So we, again, suppress, repress. You're not supposed to feel that. Don't feel that, you know, bad people feel angry, right? You don't want to be bad, right? Or, you know, fear, we just escape it, right? We uh, medicate it, right? Smoke weed, you know, drink, you know, whatever we can do to, to medicate. Um, or we just avoid, right, altogether. We escape. We go on our phones. We... Uh, you know, go on the internet, we watch a bunch of YouTube videos or podcasts, uh, anything we can to distract ourselves from what's going on. And 
when you understand this idea of most of what we're doing is actually about running away from and escaping and getting rid of these uncomfortable feelings because we think that that's going to make us feel better temporarily, it really all it does is mask it. And the problem with masking is that it's still there. And the, the real secret to learning how to feel better, meaning get into higher energy states authentically, right? Without the use of substances, without the use of um, any external stimuli, even like escapism, stuff like, you know, sex and uh, even relationships and all of this stuff. It's about becoming conscious of what you're feeling inside, becoming non-resistant to that. By becoming non-resistant, the energy will come to the surface and the energy will run its course and pass. The energy, meaning emotion, emotion, just energy and motion in your body, right? That energy will run its course and pass. And as you release the stuff that you've buried over time, what happens is, is the natural peace, the natural stillness, the natural high level of energy is already there and it, um, it, it unveils itself almost. And that's been... Um, you know, the, the path that I've seen, not only with myself, but with my clients on what, what produces the most lasting long-term results to quote unquote feeling better. And I wanted to make this episode about this because I know at the heart of what we do, this is what it's about, right? We want to feel these higher level of energies. And I mean, even if you take biblical texts that, you know, when it talks about the kingdom of God is within, right? Like that's one of the ways in which I interpret that is is it's already here, right? Like it's it, like that peace, right? That inner stillness, the peace that trans, tra um, transpires all under all understanding or surpasses all understanding is already within. There's nothing external you need to do to get that peace here. It's already here. In fact, it's the releasing and removing of what's blocking it that really is the secret to experiencing it. And so... Again, the way we go about that is actually becoming conscious of and being able to feel all the things that we don't want to feel better. And that's the paradox of feeling better. And so um, with that said, I hope this was helpful. hope it, uh, it you know, inspires you to potentially consider this different direction. If you're interested in getting help with this or uh, implementing this in your life, feel free to contact uh, me and my team over at RestoredMinds.com. You can check out the links in the notes. Also, if you benefit from the show and you uh, like this material, please help us out by liking, subscribing, and leaving a nice review on iTunes and Spotify. With that, wish you a great day and a great week, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Hey there. So if you enjoyed that video, we've linked up a few more videos that we think you'd find helpful as well. And if you have found this helpful, we'd really appreciate your support by liking and subscribing. And if you're looking for help and guidance, please check out restoredminds.com as we have several options for you to get started. See you guys soon.